Wow, they wrapped it really nicely. It looks very nice. Ooh! What is up, my beautiful Marmors, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be trying Japanese fast food versus American fast food. Let's go to Japan right now. All right, guys, so I'm here in Japan now, and I'm so excited because we're gonna try some McDonald's Japan and make it versus American food. Okay guys, so we just got the hamburgers. Well, they're not technically hamburgers anymore because we're in Japan. So, I have an ebi filet which is instead of the filet fish it's like shrimp. Teriyaki McBurger, a ginger pork burger. All right, the first one is the ginger pork. Oh. Mmm, that's different. Oh my god. That's so good though. And it's kind of like the breakfast one, but spicier and sweeter. I love trying new things and this is really, really cool. It looks like a big sausage you get in, in the breakfast, but it's like tastier. All right, so for this one, I have the hamburger and the sausage muffin. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. We're gonna have to DIY this one. So right here, I'm taking my burger right here, right? I'm gonna be doing an operation. I have to extract normal beef hamburger. So you can tell this is sausage for sure because it's like a lighter skin tone. See how it's like lighter and wider? Right there, bam, put the sausage in there. Same thing as the sweet and sour pork, mine is the sweet and sour part, so this is just a pork burger now. <laughs> because I took the sausage out and I put it in here, so let's try it, let's see what happens. That's kinda, it's kinda weird. I don't know, I don't like that. I'm even just used to it being in an Egg McMuffin bread or something, wait. That feels weird. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like that. This is a bonus burger though, because I took the burger out and I put it in between the Egg McMuffin ones. First ever Beef McMuffin right here, so you guys didn't know this existed. Now it does. Beef McMuffin, here we go. That's not that good either. <laughs> Maybe that's why they don't have a Beef McMuffin, because it's not good at all. The next one we have is the Teriyaki McBurger. Oh my gosh, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Sugoi. Sugoi, sugoi by the way, means so cool in Japanese. It's sugoi. Okay, let's try this out. Mmm. Mm. This is good. No, I don't know what kind of meat that is. I, it's, just, it's called a Teriyaki McBurger, but it's not like, it doesn't look like beef, but. It's really tender. It's like way tender than normal McDonald's meat. It's really sweet. Oh my gosh, it's all that. Mm. It smells so good. Mmm, sugoi, sugoi. Barbecue burger, the brand new, never before seen. Barbecue burger. Okay, so I have the barbecue burger right here. Wow, that's a lot of barbecue sauce. Wow, barbecue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a bite out of this bad boy. Mmm, that's not bad actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is probably like the same level as the uh, teriyaki burger they have in Japan. Like they're both like not the best. They're edible and they taste good-ish. Like they're good. If I had to choose between either or, I'd have a difficult time because I like teriyaki sauce a lot and I also like barbecue sauce a lot. So it's like, they're pretty much on the same road for me. They're like the same thing. Hmm. Time to try the next one. Last but not least, the Ebi burger. So Ebi is just a shrimp, right? So this is a shrimp filet. So this is what Ebi looks like. I'll put it right here if you guys don't know what it looks like. And it's fried right here. That's beautiful. It smells like a mayo. Or it's like a spicy mayo or something. I don't know. I can't wait to try this. This looks delicious. A fried shrimp one. Mmm! Oh my god! Mm. Everyone's looking at me right now, but I don't care because this is delicious. Mm. It's really good because it's like shrimpy, but it's very tender and it's like Crispy and flaky on the outside, so delicious, I love it. filet of fish I've actually never had one of these in real life because I used to be afraid of fish. I used to never eat fish ever, ever, ever until like three years ago, so I never still to this day have not tried a filet of fish It's a patty. That's a perfect square. Oh gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> a perfect square with some like filet sauce on it. Uh... That's not bad. I don't know why I was afraid of it all these years. I have like a nice crisp to it, but I don't know. I love shrimp too. Dang it. These are both delicious to me. This is really good. It was a new experience. It has like the hash brown texture to me. I like that. It's like a hash brownie like falls apart in your mouth. Mm. I'm just gonna go with shrimp one because the first one I had and I love shrimp. Shrimp is amazing. It's delicious. So I'm gonna go that's the winner. I still would eat it. I guess since I'm in America, I can't get the shrimp one anymore. I would definitely eat the filet fish now that I've tried it. I can't eat this too much because I'm going to go eat some more things right now. And I don't want to get too full, but this is delicious. 100% recommended in Japan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I am at the KFC here. I'm so excited because there's a bunch of different things on this menu also. And I can't wait to try them. Look at that. See KFC right there? I don't know what's here, but let's go and find the things that we don't have and let's try them out. <laughs> was this thing, it's called the Crusher. I don't know what it is, but I got chocolate and cream. I also have a sandwich thing that they do not have in America. Colonel Specialty. <laughs> this is a box filled with goodies. Right here we have the normal chicken in the bottom. Oh! Oh! They have a fried fish stick in Japan, but we also have the normal chicken. I wanted to really compare it against, you know, the American version. All right, the first thing we're gonna try is the Colonel Specialty right here. So, let's see what it is. Wow, they wrap it, it's like a triangle. It looks kind of like uh, onigiri. Wow, they wrapped it really nicely. It looks very nice. Ooh, what we have here is uh, chicken breast with like some spicy ketchup or something. I don't know what that is. Big strip of bacon, like a giant strip of bacon, some cheese and lettuce. Let's go ahead and just try this out right now. All right, here we go. Mmm, that's not ketchup. That's like a spicy sauce, like a sriracha almost, but it's not. It's like a Japanese sriracha. It's not like the best sandwich I've ever had, but I mean, it's kind of good for what it is. I can't really taste the chicken though. The sauce really overpowers it. The chicken's pretty good, okay. It's not like full on spicy. It like wants to be ketchup, but it's not. Now it's time to try the Mac Daddy of them all, the chicken sandwich with bacon. This is the American version. We have bacon on this, we have cheese, we have the crispy chicken tender in here, but we don't have the red sauce, okay? Oh. So instead of the red sauce being on the actual outside, on the outer top of it, the red sauce is actually inside the chicken. The chicken is spicy itself, which I think gives America an advantage because the chicken has way more flavor. In Japan, the chicken didn't have that much flavor at all and they really relied a lot on the sauce. It's so good, it's so cool, it's so good here. The next thing I'm gonna try is the filet of fish right here. I've never had fish at KFC, which is Kentucky Fried Chicken, so I don't know what this is gonna taste like. They actually have some KFC tartar sauce from Japan. I'm gonna put it on it like so. All right, let's try it. That's not bad, actually. That's really good. The tartar sauce is delicious. Mmm! KFC Fried Chicken Tenders Fish Stick Edition is really good. Mmm. Mm. Chicken sticks here, so these are chicken sticks. Uh, ooh. It has a nice crunch to it, chicken strips. I'm just trying to imagine it as fish right now because they don't have fish ones in America, but these are delicious. Way more flavor than fish strips. They're really bland. This one has like some spices to it. I can eat this. I can really eat this. This is really delicious. Mmm, smells good too. The Japan fish sticks, I really like. All right, so I have this chicken right here. It looks like it wants to be a chicken wing too. Like, I don't know what this extra little piece is. It's kind of weird right here, but I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this chicken. Um, it's the normal recipe. They don't have an extra crispy option, so let's just try it. Mmm, it's still delicious. It's not crispy, but you can definitely taste all 11 herbs and spices. So I don't know what this weird thing is, but it looks like a chicken head or something, but let's just take a bite out of it and see what it is. Oh, what is it? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna try the OG two piece right here. Just take a bite out of this. Mmm, it's so juicy. For some reason, this one isn't crunchy either though. I, th I remember, I swear it was crunchy in America, but maybe I didn't get the extra crispy version. Cause it's just as soggy as Japan. But I will say it's a lot saltier in America. Ooh, this is really salty. Like after eating the Japanese one, eating this one, it's like really, really salty. Ooh. All right, last but not least, we have the chocolate milk crusher, which is a only in KFC Japan thing. It's called the crusher. It has these cool little boxes on it that so it doesn't, it won't tilt over at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. The crusher. Hi. Mmm, I like that. It has like bigger chunks of Oreo in it. There's chocolate blended into it, but then there's also these big like bubble ball versions of Oreo that I'm not used to, but they're good. Mm. And you wanna know what the most sugoi thing is, is, ooh, sugoi! We have a whole chocolate cake here. They didn't have milkshake, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the chocolate chip cookie cake and see how it goes up well against the Japanese. Kuroshiro! <laughs> Open. Ugh, okay, wow. Look at that chocolate chip cake. I actually never had one of these before. I thought it'd be like an Oreo cake, but it's seriously called a chocolate chip cake. Okay. So I have the whole chocolate chip cake from KFC right here. If I can imagine what the crusher tastes like. Okay, I have it in my brain right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try the cake. Whoa. 
Ooh, that was way softer than I thought it was gonna be. It's so soft. I didn't think it was gonna be that soft. I thought it was gonna be like a bite to it, like kind of like um, fruit bread or something, but it's not. If I like this more than the Crusher though, I don't know. The Crusher has a pretty cool name though. I was like, the Crusher, <laughs> Crusher. If I was eating a full meal and I, and I drank that, it was way better than eating a full meal and then trying to eat a cake like this because it just makes my mouth more dry. Maybe I'm just not like a super giant cake person, but maybe you are. I don't know. I think the Crusher beats this one for sure, but it's kind of unfair because the Crusher is like a dry Drink, but Japan, you get like one point for this one. Woo Overall, I really enjoyed the meal at KFC. The Crusher was so refreshing and delicious. And I mean, if you have no other choice and you really want fried chicken in Japan, I mean, I'm sure you could find a gajillion different places to eat fried chicken. But if you had to go to KFC and you had to get the same things from America, it's gonna be a little bit like of a downer because chicken isn't as crispy. But the fish is kind of interestingly enough really crispy and the sauce is really delicious. So I would say go ahead and try it. And it was really good. It was a really good experience to try it. <laughs> Guys, so I just went to Burger King. I have bags of flavor. It's actually all in English still. See Burger King, Burger King, everything is there. So we I also got this drink. We'll get to that later. I have something that is funny that they don't have in the US yet. It's a Whopper, right? This is a normal Whopper, but it has a giant layer of avocado. So I mean, let's try this. I love the normal Whopper, so let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this is a Whopper. There's a bunch of avocado there. And it was actually pretty well priced for having avocado on it. It was only like four bucks, I think. Usually something with avocado is an extra dollar fifty at least in America, so that's really cool. Um, I really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. It looks really delicious. There's a ton of avocado there. Uh, let's go ahead and just try it. So here we go. Oh, mmm. I have like a different mayo. Their mayo here is like really good. It's kind of yellowish there. Mmm. The Whopper has this iconic like tar bro taste to it. You know, it has like the grill marks and all that. You don't taste any of that here. I love the avocado, I love the price, but the burger I think is where they save their money at because look at it. Look at it. It's so tiny. All right, so the next thing I have is the Whopper. For some reason in America, we don't have an avocado Whopper. I don't know why, but in Japan they have. It's on the menu, it's like number two on the menu. It's called the avocado Whopper. That's what I had there. They don't have that here, but they have this, the normal Whopper, which is the OG. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the normal Whopper and see how that adds up to the Japanese avocado Whopper. Okay, here we go. Wait, these are really good actually. I don't, I'm not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video by any of these places. I'm just telling you guys again, but I kind of, I really liked it. Mm. I mean, it has sauce in it this time. I will show you guys. There's definitely sauce in there this time. It's edible. It's like, it's very moist. It's not dry like this one right here. This one was so dry and the fries made it even more dry. Like soaked up any juices that were there. <laughs> Whopper. For some reason, I don't know if they add to it, but it just tastes like smoky. It has like a grilled taste to it. I don't know if it's like the fake burgers we use here or something like that. In Japan, you can't taste that. Here, I, I, I take a bite of this and I think it just like got smoked for like 10 hours. Mmm. All right, so I have this flame grilled cheeseburger here. This cheeseburger is a little bit different than the ones we have back home in America because there is just one giant, what? There's supposed to be a burger in here. Where's the burger? Oh, there it is. I thought it was just only hash brown in there. Okay, so there's a burger and there's a hash brown. So it's like a hash brown burger. I guess it's really popular here. The guy actually recommended me get this, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a big bite out of this. I love hash browns personally and I love burgers, so let's see if this tastes good or not. Mm. Once again, the burger does not taste flame broiled. I don't think they know what that means here or something because it's like, looks good. Like the hash brown is really good. It's really cheesy and crispy and delicious and I love that. I can eat this. We gotta step it up America. We gotta get some hash browns on our burgers and make it look delicious like this. They have this hamburger here. Wow, their patty is really small in America. Look how tiny that is. They don't have any hash browns right now because it's definitely past uh, breakfast, but we have french fries. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some french fries right here. I mean, I used to do this all the time with my burgers anyways, so I mean, I guess this might be good. So for some reason, there's like no sauce on this thing at all. It's like completely dry. There's no ketchup, there's no mayo, there's no pickle. I don't know why it's completely plain. I don't know, understand America, why is it like this? All right, the next thing we have is a Burger King float. Vanilla and then this green stuff. Yes, you guessed it, melon soda. So it's a melon soda, it looks really cool and green. All right, so I'm gonna open the straw. Oh yes, okay, so this is a normal slushy straw we have back in the States. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's a de-scooper. <laughs> Every time I try to scoop it, it just pushes it. It's pretty good, actually. It's just very creamy. 
Hmm. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's really, really good. Um, I think I'm supposed to mix this, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together like this. It's gonna start to turn into this like creamy concoction here. Mmm. I don't know why people don't like melon flavored things, but they love it here, and it's really good. Mmm. Melon float. Highly recommended. All right, the next thing I have here is a fruity little milkshake. What the heck? They didn't even have this in Japan. I feel like Japan's supposed to have something super cool like this. Mm, it smells delicious. So fruity. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip out of this. It tastes exactly like breakfast. They're geniuses. If you think about it, it's a milkshake with fruity loops in it. What do you put in the milkshake? You put milk. What do you put in cereal? You put milk. Oh my gosh. This is pretty good. I would say this is up to par with the melon one, but only reason I give the melon one higher advantage, it's a float, so it's like refreshing too. Some people eat burgers and drink their milkshakes too, but for me, I need something like a float when I'm eating my burgers because it like washes everything away, washes it all down. And I drink this extra sweet milkshake thing that tastes like a cereal bowl. I would say the Japanese win that one for sure, but this is really good. I highly recommend this. I'm not sponsored by Burger King. Overall, Burger King is pretty much the same there. Like, they have a lot of the same items, so I tried to pick things that were different. The hash brown burger is really cool, though, and I just really wish that they really kept that flame broiler taste everywhere in the world. I think in America it's a lot more flame broiled and it has a better taste to it because we know how to fake it better or something. I don't know why, but it's really good. And I wish avocados were cheaper in America so we can have them on everything just like we do in Japan. And they love green stuff here, so thank you Burger King Japan and this was really great tasting you. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching me do Japanese fast food versus American fast food today because it was delicious. Look at all the stuff we got. I have Burger King here. I have KFC here. I can't believe I found it all here in Japan. It's so beautiful here. And I just really enjoyed eating all this amazing stuff. And I want to say thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to do stuff like this. Overall, I would say Japan is the winner because it won Burger King, it won McDonald's, but it did not win KFC. If you're in Japan, make sure to only go to McDonald's and Burger King and nowhere else if you have to go to fast food restaurants. But of course, there's a million other foods to eat in Japan. You don't have to try the fast food restaurants there. I just want, was so curious. I was wondering like who's gonna win. So I'm glad you guys watched this video all the way to the end. If you enjoy videos like this, leave comments. Let me know. Let me know if I should do more like this. I had so much fun going all the way to Japan just to try these fast food things for you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love melons, if you love chicken, and if you love burgers in Japan. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace.